Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Today's video is a really special video for me because this is a brand I really love. It's Bath and Body Works and I love their fragrances and it's just amazing. I don't know what they do, the magic they put in their fragrances. It's just unique and I just wanted to share you the best winter fragrances I have from Bath and Body Works because not every fragrance you get in the US is available in India. So here's the video guys. A disclaimer before I continue this video guys, this is my personal opinion about these fragrances. Maybe you might like a few which I hate and maybe you might hate a few which I like. It's all your personal preference but these are some things which I get complimented on and which other people like it like a few friends of mine might comment and compliment me on. So these are based on those ratings and also the wearability of it and what they actually smell like on you because you know it kind of changes right. A fragrance doesn't smell the same when you wear it and when it's uh, when it's like after a few hours so these are my personal opinion I've worn it for a few hours I've switched the swatches I've tried different ones I've tried it on my wrist my fingers my everywhere possible just you know to compare them like I've done it for a week so this is my you know experiment and everything and these are the results guys I'm gonna start with the worst the one I hated the most I mean it's not like it's a really bad fragrance but I didn't like it so the one which comes in the 13th spot is this so yeah there's three more right so I'm going from 10 but yeah I'm just gonna add these here so that you know which I really didn't like so this is the 13th one which I have and I really didn't like this because it's a very mature fragrance it kind of smells like your granny um, auntie uh, I don't know it's basically because it's peppermint right it's twisted peppermint so it smells like you have perfume on but you had peppermint with it like you're just having a body ache like usually you have old people wearing peppermint all the time right so when you go near them you get that smell so this kind of reminds me of that and that is why i hate it because it doesn't smell fresh and young it kind it is twisted it does it definitely doesn't smell really old it does have a cookie kind of you know kind of a sweet uh, smell to it but still, it's not something I would like to wear because obviously I would prefer something more fruity, something more fresh and this is not it. So this is 13. So the next one is Frosted Coconut Snowball. I'm so happy I got it in the travel size because I don't think I'm going to use it more anyways. So this is the Shimmer Mist. I got it in the Diamond Shimmer Mist one. And uh, it smells like dried coconut for me. I feel like it smells very dry and I would say it in Canada, you know how it says how it smells like Kobri. It smells like dry coconut basically what you eat, right? It smells like that to me. It's not a very fresh coconut. It's very dry. I mean it does feel wintry, yeah, because obviously the coconut is dry, right? But it's not something I would like to wear. It's something I would just like normally wear. Nothing when I'm feeling like, oh yeah, let me wear something nice. So this is not that. So next we have Dark Kiss. This is not like basically a winter collection but yeah it does fall under the winter category because it's a very dark fragrance and I do feel like it's a very dark fragrance. It's not something you can you know usually wear like I just don't I just don't connect with this fragrance because it's it's kind of a mature fragrance. I think it's not for me. Uh, I, I would like something again like I would really like something fruity flirty this is not something I like personally maybe some of you guys really love it but many of them really don't like this fragrance it's called the dark kiss and it's pretty dark <laughs> so on the other note the next fragrance is kind of similar to that because it's into the night I mean, I'm adding it here because it's also having the similar notes, you know. It smells similar. It's not the same notes, but it kind of smells similar. So I have it in the diamond shimmer mist one. And I really like the part that it has shimmer mist. And I would not wear it on a winter time, you know. But yeah, sometimes maybe when I'm going out in the night, I would prefer wearing it. But not a big winter fragrance uh, collection, I would say. It's good. It's like, you know, if you're in the mood for it, you can wear it, but not all the time. So next comes Winterberry Wonder. So this stands in the ninth place. 
and again it's more of a mature scent i i feel it's fruity yes it's kind of fruity uh it's just not my kind of scent it's it's not musky or it doesn't have that very fresh smell to it so i'll tell you what the notes are so it has ruby frost winterberry sparkling cranberry and crystal vanilla i really can't get the vanilla obviously because it's not a top note but i, I it's not something i would wear on an everyday basis maybe it is a good fragrance i'm not saying any of these are bad it's just that they're not that great right so it is a good fragrance and i really love the packaging like it's so pretty <laughs> i mean you can't just buy something just for the bottle right so so the next one right is the one in the eighth place goes to this one snowy peach berry so i'll tell you what the notes of these are snow kissed cranberries frosted peach blossom shimmering woods sometimes i felt like this was a very mild fragrance but sometimes it just killed me i don't know what about it <laughs> killed me and what about it lifted me up but it it was wait just trying to remember it just doesn't feel so unique i mean i think you can find something similar to this in the market it's not like you need to buy from bath and body works giving that much of money for it right because obviously it's twice the price in india like if you can buy a travel if, if you can buy a travel size here you can get a full size in us so that's the difference so the next one is this one so it's winter candy apple it's not like i don't like it it's really nice but sometimes it gives me a headache it really gives me a headache and i don't think it's something i can wear every day because it is kind of strong for me and i'll tell you the fragrance notes so we have candy red apple winter rose petals candied orange maple leaf and fresh cinnamon so it is it is a very good winter fragrance as i would say it is a good winter fragrance but it's too overpowering sometimes like if you're sick please don't wear this please don't wear this that's my suggestion to you <laughs> okay so next we have gingam obviously it's not a winter fragrance i know but even in their description what they mentioned is that this is kind of a summery to winter fragrance right so that's why i'm putting it here because it uh, it is very musky it is kind of summery but they also did mention in that like you can wear it during winters and you know cozy winters and warm lazy summers that's what the description said so that's why i thought i'll add this in the video because it is a good fragrance it's very musky it's very young and i feel like it's younger than me <laughs> obviously this this teenager also could wear and be happy with because it's a very musky kind of scent you know something which a starter girl would start wearing this is not like a perfume perfume so it's kind of like an everyday you can wear it every day kind of one so that's why i'm adding it here because it's a very everyday fragrance so top 5 top 5 <laughs> so i have balm vanilla here i mean i got this from mintra and they just put so much of you know tape around it like i couldn't even take it off like it's all the labels around like what is this what is this i don't like it i mean you know when you see bath and body works it's all about the packaging and you cover the packaging why it looks so hard i don't like the way they set it to me i mean the i know i like the path that mintra is going save earth mintra for earth and stuff but the packaging is like too big these days you get a small pencil you order a eyebrow pencil or a small kajal it comes in a huge bag like huge box with a big cover on it like people will be wondering what are you buying every day because every small item comes in such a big big box like <laughs> what's happening <sighs> okay yeah let's get back into the video i got really distracted so yeah top 5 warm vanilla i really love this scent it's it's one of my favorites and the reason why it's on the fifth place is because it's not really long lasting it doesn't last long it's a really good fragrance i love it i just love the smell it's like it's so good like if if you wear it you feel really cozy it does give you the warm essence to it but the thing is it doesn't last long that's the only reason it's in fifth place or else this would be in the top 3 for sure and this is yeah let's just finish with this now going to the fourth one this is fresh sparkling snow 
I just absolutely love the packaging. Like, look at that. It really looks like it's snowing, right? <laughs> so cute. And I like this fragrance a lot, but it's more of an everyday thing. It's not very strong or anything, so that's why it's not on the top, top first or second. Because it's just very, very daily perfumey kind of thing. The smell is really good. I really love it. And I'll tell you the fragrance notes too. So we have iced pear, winter apple, snowdrop, blossom. Okay, so it's really good. It's very fresh. It doesn't have a very strong minty or strong anything like the winter candy apple, twisted peppermint and all that. So that's why I like this more because it's very uh, fresh. Basically very fresh. That's the reason I love it. So going to the top three, right? Top three. So I give, I give this third place just maybe two days ago. Maybe a few days ago, if you had asked me, this would have been in the bottom for sure. And the reason being, it was too overpowering. I felt like, you know, <laughs> I, I heard one of my friends say it smelled like bagon, like <laughs> bagon insect repeller, like really. Uh, I mean, that's not a compliment, right? So I just realized that it takes some time for the fragrance to come out. So uh, the top notes, obviously the top notes, the ones which are overpowering immediately, that one I hate. So the first two minutes you feel like this is bad. Like, what is this? Like, is this even a fragrance? Why is Bath & Body Works even selling it? But then after 10-15 minutes till for a few hours, this fragrance smells so good. It smells so good. Uh, it just has that vanilla and everything. And it just smells like a cookie. You'll smell like a cookie. Basically, you smell like a snack, right? <laughs> so the second place goes to this one. And it's one of my favorites. Like This is my all-time favorite for winter. But the top one, I'll be coming to that and you'll know why. But this is my favorite winter fragrance, actually. It's it's so good. It's snowflakes and cashmere. It's just, you know, the first time I sprayed it, I didn't know what was happening. I couldn't get the notes. I couldn't understand what's happening. It was like, maybe I should wear it. Maybe I shouldn't wear it. Maybe it's just too much for me. But the thing is, once it settles down, this could smell so good on a sweater. So you can just smell so good just wearing anything casual, anything casual on your winter day and you just spray this, you'll just get addicted to it. I'm telling you, this is a fragrance you will start falling in love with eventually. It's not like, oh yeah, I love it. No, it's just like, oh, I'm going to start loving it. And once you love it, you, you will keep restocking this one. I promise. This is a really good one. And yeah, time for the top one. Okay. So... This is actually not like a winter winter fragrance, but I thought I'd add it here because uh, even Valentine's Day comes during winters, right? February is still winter, so this is the one. It's called You're the One, like it is the one, like I love it. From the day I purchased this one, I fell in love with this one. And I don't think any other fragrance I can wear if I'm not in the mood to, but this any day, any time, every day, I can wear this. That is the amount of love I have for this. I don't know. It's not like you will immediately love it, but you will start getting so used to this that you will not feel like using anything else. I'm telling you, if you had to choose between buying just one or two fragrance, buy these two. You don't need anything else. And if you have more money, go with the third one. No regrets. Because this is mild. This is kind of strong. And this is really romantic like this is this is the date night fragrance you can ever buy from bath and body works at least in india because many of many of the fragrances are not available in india so these are the top 10 so this is it guys this is my video hope you guys like it please do like my video subscribe and share to your friends and i hope this video is helpful to you guys and i will be posting a lot of videos on other ranges of bath and body works and also the makeup products i've been buying recently i've been showering myself with products guys and i'm so excited to show you all of them and please stay tuned and bye bye